That's it. Yes, I think I'm on. The red light's flashing. Uh, hello to all you expats out there in Denver. Hello, it's Bezel Brash here with Christmas greetings from dear old Blighty. <laughs> now, I know that you'll be going out for your once-a-month curry nights in Mehacks in Cherry Creek. <laughs> That sounds like something from a western, that does. I know you don't like spurs. You think they are shizzle. Brian wants Viagra for Christmas. I'm too young to need that. My brush is as pert as it ever was on its own. And I know you suffer from those insufferable Americans. Well, you are in America, so what do you expect? I find them OK, to be honest with you. Just loud. Yes, when I'm in America, I just put earplugs in my ear and uh, and try not to listen. But I know you're stuck out there in Denver. I can tell you it's very cold here, too. But I've got some, I don't know, observations that I think you might enjoy. Well, jokes, really. So, um, I say, I say, I say, how many Americans does it take to fill the Grand Canyon, eh? Four. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> Now, I say, I say, I say, Monica Lewinsky didn't vote for Hillary Clinton in the last election. Yes, she said the last Clintoncy presidency left a bad taste in her mouth. I don't understand that one. Left a... Oh, I'm sure I'll have to look it up on YouTube. And also, I think you're going to enjoy this. How many US politicians does it take to change a light bulb? It's nine. Yes. One, to deny the bulb is burnt out. Two, to clarify the denial. One, to blame the previous administration. One, to blame the burning out on Congress. One, to replace the bulb with a kerosene lamp. One, to borrow money from the Japanese to pay for the kerosene. One, to lobby old colleagues for a special favour for the kerosene importer. Mm. Then one, to cash the cheque for investing in the kerosene importer. And finally, the ninth one is to send the bill to the next generation. <laughs> Boom, boom. <laughs> Wonderful observations, but big Merry Christmas from me, Bezel Brush, from dear old Blighty, and my dressing room in pantomime at the Theatre Royal Windsor. Right, I'm off to go and meet the Queen now. Yes, we're going to have tea together. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea and dank me ginger nuts. Boom, boom, from Bezel Brush. Right, love to you all out there in Denver. My hooter's going to switch this one off now. Ta-ta. <laughs>